Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to a bit of a weird video here. Um, so today, as you may have seen by the title, I am actually going to be upgrading my computer here, and um, yes, I did absolutely just have to. Uh, I did absolutely just have to um, do this weird intro here. So yeah, uh, anyhow. We're upgrading the computer here today, so yeah, uh, let's get it turned off and all, and uh, let's get into some stuff. Alright, so, first thing we're actually going to do here is we're actually going to unbox all the stuff that I got. So, the first thing here is actually not 100% required, but this is um, the only thing I actually have bought. He wants it just because he needs more USB ports. Well, yeah, this is a USB card for the computer because the... I counted the USB ports on the new motherboard, which is this big box here, and it's like exactly the number of things I currently have plugged in, and if I want to plug in more stuff in the future, potentially, um, yeah, I'm gonna need more USB ports. So. I'd have to look into one of these myself. Honestly, I have way not enough stuff. Way not enough. I'm literally, even the, my case ports, the ports are just in my case. He only has two in his, but I have four in mine. Yeah. I have literally only one, and it's in the front panel. Yikes. Wait, I thought you had four USB ports. Oh, I mean, what I mean is I only have one free port. Oh, one free port. Um, yeah. And that right. one's in there. All right, so. Got some packaging here. So if I wanted a, my own stream deck in that, I'd have a... Uh, Zero ports, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Manuals and whatnot. Uh, freaking driver disc. Why do they? Why do they still include these? Thi why do they still include these things? Seriously. Oh, jeez. Why do they still include driver discs with new th computer things? Who oh, has the internet? Who, who has a CD drive? Um, power cable here, and some case screws, which I don't know if that'll be necessary. And then the actual card itself, which interestingly enough... Say to, not, say to power splitter. Okay. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, has USB ports on the inside of the case. Alright, next up is this box, which I believe is the CPU. Gotta make Blee. it. Blee! Yeah, it, it is the CPU, unless it's to, it's some, I totally got ripped off and it's something like, hey, lol, you paid $200 for nothing. So, let's hope it is actually the CPU. Oh, that eBay is getting a nice customer complaint. Yeah, this that does have confidential information on it and stuff. All right, that's Bubble very anti-static right there. Yeah, this is very anti-static. Anyhow, uh, silicon out. Mm. Okay, got a business card here from the seller and motherboard's GPU. GPU. Wow, well, you guys are gonna be making bank on that. <laughs> yeah, and then the actual chip mm. itself. Put that back in the box for, you know, safekeeping. Oh, the anti-static pad. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, the biggest thing here, which was not the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the chip was the most expensive thing. Yeah. That is not... Scrutinizing your cutting. <laughs> I'm probably going to edit this down a little bit. Hopefully, that's actually cutting the tape correctly. All right. And... Got the motherboard stuff, so the I.O. shield there. I.O. shield that has no sticker on it. SATA cables and Wi-Fi antennas. Um, Use for Bluetooth. That's the back plate. Back plate for the CPU, okay. Um, Another okay. card. Thank you card. Um, A troubleshooting guide. That's interesting. Just print it on a nice sheet of computer paper. And of course... A beautiful motherboard. The motherboard itself. I'm assuming this is an anti-static bag. It's got it. Actually, it looks like one, actually, yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's see if I can see the I.O. here. All right, so... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports. The ten... Oh, oh you're being all called. Right. All right, um, here you go. I have taken the motherboard out of its packaging, plus plunked it on the bag, bag here, and now I'm going to um, show some B-roll shots that I'm about to take of this thing.
right, I have installed the um, cooler mounting brackets and back plate to the motherboard now. And yes, I am using a flashlight to illuminate this better for the camera. Hopefully it actually looks better. If not, then, uh, whoops. <laughs> right then, it's now time to install the CPU, so gonna take the CPU, which I'm gonna quickly show to the camera here. It's a Ryzen 7 3700X, I believe. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna install this in the motherboard. Sorry if this is, like, not good for you to see, but, um, I think... There's the gold little triangle. Line it with crap. Where do I line it with? I think it's that. I think that's the right way. Because I didn't see much of a better triangle on the motherboard than that one. So I'm assuming that's correct. Although the retention arm wasn't lifted. So I should actually do that first. <laughs> Lift the retention arm. Place the CPU in. And then oops, put the retention arm back. I know I don't have a very good. All right, I don't think that CPU is going anywhere. Cool. Sorry that I don't have a very good way to show you this. My cameraman just left to go eat lunch apparently. So um, yeah, I'm having to just set my camera up on some boxes on my desk, which is not exactly the closest to the actual working setup here. Yes. Anyhow. Um. Next. Now we're going to talk about a CPU cooler that I already had that had some thermal paste on it that I apparently didn't record a clip for. One lunch break and a trip to the bathroom later, all, well, most of the thermal paste is off. I can still see little remnants of it in like what looks like like the shape, the sanding that happened on this thing, but I'm not going to do anything about that as it's probably fine, and that would take a lot more effort than I'm currently willing to give. So anyhow, um, yeah. Now we need to put on some new thermal paste and figure out how the heck I install this thing onto there. Because I don't exactly know how to install AMD coolers. I've only really installed an Intel cooler on my current CPU. Don't worry, it's just thermal paste that I dropped. All we really need is... All we really need is this little tube here of presumably still good thermal paste. It has been like five years. Four years? Four to five years. I don't exactly remember how long it is since we got this, so hopefully it's still good. I would think it would be good. That is if I can... Is this like single use? I don't, I don't think it is, but it does look like it might be a pain to get off, get the top off of this. I'm going to go ask my brother to do that. Thermal haze tube has been opened. All right. And then... So we just do a bit of a dab in the center there. A couple other little... Um... Dots around the edges here. Hopefully that's a healthy amount of thermal paste for the CPU. And I probably need to clean this table after I'm done using it. All right, that is pretty simple for the thermal paste. Next, we gotta install the cooler. Thermal paste has been put on. Let's put on the cooler now. I'm presuming like this, but I don't have any instructions for how to put a cool, an AMD cooler on, so. Ta-da, heat sink has been installed. There was a little bit of doubt about whether this heat sink could actually be installed on this motherboard, but with actually looking at which side had to go first because the tab size and stuff, we got it sorted out. All right, plugging in to what I'm pretty sure is the CPU fan header here. It's a CPU fan here, but there's no header, so I think it's referring to these headers. Up uh, CPU header and CPU up. I think they're just the same thing. There we go. All right. Heat sink one. <laughs> heat sink one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Why does that need to... All right, so you're plugging into this, right? Yep. Good. Good, you don't. That's the, that's the A-Fan connector. All right. There's an extra little connector here. Yeah, that's for your Ryze and nines. Ah, right. All right, now we need to disassemble, start, start taking stuff out of my current computer in order to put on that motherboard, so... Yeah, oh, wow. They have a specific thing for an AIO pump. Yeah. Now a water going pump, an AIO pump. SSD has been installed in the new motherboard. My current system is just here on the treadmill. Gonna be taken apart here. And uh, next, we're grabbing the memory. 
Right, RAM has been installed on the new motherboard. Old motherboard has been taken out of the case, and now... I mean, we really, before we put the motherboard in, I'll sure should I just... Dust, right? Yeah, okay, I'll grab the compressed air. Yeah. All right, mother new motherboard has been installed in the case here, and now I gotta hook up all the different little connectors, whether it's, uh, I don't know, this front panel connector, or I guess the 24 pin connector here. Anyhow, yeah, uh, now I gotta plug everything in. It's gonna take a moment. Right, everything has been connected to the motherboard that needs to be connected, I think. <laughs> oh, great, that, you know, that's just great, but anyhow, um, yeah, now, um, what's next? All right, I gotta put in the various cards and things that have to go here. So I guess first up, GPU. GPU has been installed. Next up is the brand new P USB card. So yeah, let's take this thing out and throw it in the case. So. I just spent a while trying to plug this cable into the USB card here for, I mean, it was like three minutes or something. Because this thing came with it. I assume this was a, a dual Molex to, I don't know, some other pr 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 more proprietary connector combination cable because, I don't know, maybe it needs more power or something. But no, this is actually a Molex splitter here. You see, you plug the Molex from the... PSU in here and it splits it into two here for some reason. Why this came with the card, I don't know, considering literally the cable I plugged it into has like two other Molexes on it that are not currently being used. So it's like, what the heck is the point of this? And also, why did it come with this? I thought this was some, yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah. Everything on the inside should theoretically be done. So I'm gonna connect the Wi-Fi antennas to the motherboard now. And then we're gonna stand this thing back up, put it back on the desk here and uh, give it a test. All right, my computer's back on the desk here. <laughs> I plugged it in, pl plugged everything in, turned the power supply on, and RGB lights are already flowing, and I haven't even pressed the power button yet. This, I'm juggling things right now because this camera's low on battery. I have like a battery and a USB cable I haven't on, taken out completely of the packaging. Anyhow, that doesn't matter. Let's press the power button and see what happens. Um, that's not good. Okay, I figured it out. I think I put the reset switch and power button backwards, which is kind of hilarious, but at the same time, I will have to fix it later. But hey, the whole thing lit up. My graphics card, RAM, CPU. It's a red light up there. I think it's posting, which is pretty good. Uh, I should enter the BIOS. So, yep. Oh, here it goes. Um, all right. All right, here we go. The classic ASUS entering the BIOS screen. Okay, detected devices are my M.2 and my SATA. Uh, no USB drives. Memory, I think that looks good. DDR4, I think that's 16 gigabytes. Um, Ryzen 7 3700X, eight core processor. Right, that is the CPU I have. Um, speed, 3.9 meg, three, uh, 3.9 gigahertz. I think all this stuff should be correct. So let's run the setup and see if this boots me into windows oh oh no <laughs> boot the setup gosh dang this put me into the bios that's a really weird fan curve but um cool um i don't think i have anything in here to configure right now so yeah uh, i'm gonna boot up the computer and then hopefully you'll see me back on obs where i can do some benchmarking stuff that'll be real cool are here on my desktop. Hopefully there's nothing incriminating here. I don't think so, but you know, wallpaper is just my season one base. In case you're wondering, so let's hop on, let's pop up Task Manager and uh, see what's uh, going on over here. Bring this over to the main screen here, and uh, oh boy, that is 16 threads. In fact. Everything's going pretty well. It's around the speed that my old processor had as its base, but it can actually go lower, which may be good. I'm not exactly sure right now, but hey, um, it looks like everything is working just fine. Oh yeah, and we can test that USB card right now. I'm going to plug in my phone. Phone's getting charged, and I heard Windows. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah. 
it's working. Let's um get some benchmarks and games going in. Oh yeah. Um hold on, let me show you something here. So here's my Discord window. And look at this. Yeah, that's fine. That's a fine guy to show, I guess, for my friends. He's been on cool crap before. Like, I'm not gonna show you the name of this group chat here, but just look at how many messages have been sent in this group chat since I like started upgrading my computer, which was like less than an hour ago. It was an hour ago. I don't know. Whatever. That's an absurd amount of messages for a group chat. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, let's get some benchmarks and crap going. We are here on Cool Craft, and I am getting a smooth 60 FPS here at my base, although that's not saying much. My base is, right now, pretty simple on the computer. Although I can say, when I loaded into the world, I didn't have any- I didn't lag for a while, like I have been in 1.18 when I load into an area, so that was good. Let's see about my industrial district. Will I lag over here? Or will I drop 60 FPS? Okay, 55, 58. Still in the 50s. Oh, 40s. Oh, oh, it's no better here. No better here. Hold on, let me go check Task Manager quickly. Um, doesn't necessarily look like anything is. Oh, I'm I'm at 60 FPS. Okay. Um, doesn't necessarily look like anything is maxed out on Task Manager anyway. So, yeah, this is pretty good. That, um, but that's just Minecraft. Minecraft is pretty easy to run and do good and let's go to a game that might be a little bit more CPU favored. Alright we are here in Planet Coaster, a notoriously um, CPU heavy game here um, and also apparently Windows activation has fricked up which is incredibly annoying and it's not it's like my key is it doesn't have a valid key for some reason like I have in my hands right now the disks that I used to install so hopefully one of these keys will work if not I don't, I don't freaking know what I'm gonna do because, yeah, th this should be fine. I mean, I understand. I re, I just changed the CPU and motherboard, but seriously, Windows, what the hell? <laughs> it's the same drives, same everything, just new hardware. Dang it, not even new GPU, just new CPU and motherboard. Anyhow, let's play something here to test out the hardware. Alright, so we are here, I'm getting like 32 FPS, although this does appear to be GPU limited at the moment, and we are viewing something pretty tough, like giant roller coaster. If I zoom in here to the ground, we get much, much more FPS, although th this park wasn't actually too particularly bad, I believe, if I remember with performance. I know one that is actually much worse, so I'm gonna go there now. Here we are in the park where I remember having some serious frame rate issues after I upgraded my GPU, and it's going pretty well, even with the giant roller coaster running, so that's... Or, running. It is running, but... Oh, I'm in view, so yeah, let's hop on this thing, and... Nope, oh, wrong one. Um... Train dupe. Oh, whatever, this guy's on a hill, so that'll be good. Um, let's speed up time. Not to mention, I'm also recording right now, and the frames are still doing pretty dang good. Oh, I still gotta go further, right? Um, so yeah, that's... Yeah, this new hardware working out great for me so far. I'm liking it. I'm not liking the freaking activation. And I, looking at the physical keys, it may have something to do with the sense that this is for OEM software on the key. So maybe that's why me upgrading. I mean, I guess that's what I get for buying a cheaper key off Amazon like four years ago. But hey, this is not. Heck, I've I've changed my drive before and it hasn't cared about stuff. But anyhow, yes, this is doing real well with performance. So I'm gonna now we should switch to another game that has also had lower frame rates for me in the past. All right, so I'm here in Stormworks. Yeah, that, 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 that convenient. Oh, but anyhow, I'm here in Stormworks. It's a game that which has in the past been fairly CPU intense, and I spawned in a boat which I think I remember being pretty laggy. And, um, it sunk. <laughs> the time when I was trying to look around for more information about Windows activation support stuff, it sunk. So, I'm gonna try that again with a different ship. Let's load from the workshop. Let's scroll down, see if I can find something that's big ish and maybe laggy. Oh, this thing I think was pretty laggy. I don't know, it's been a little while, and. Obviously, I'm now on a better computer, so it's hard to tell what may have been super laggy in the past. Is that a good sign? I think that's a good sign. Wait, right. oh, wait, right. 30 FPS. Okay, whoa, this is big. I do feel like I'm moving slower than I was before. 
Warning performance issues. Yeah. Um, my frame rate is still fine. In fact, my CPU is not that jazzed right now. In fact, right now it tr seems to be my GPU that is causing the issue is being kind of heralded. And yeah, 45 FPS, that would make sense. But my CPU, nice and cool. I mean, it's not necessarily a low temperature, but yeah, pretty good. But yeah, I'm still having some game slowdown issues, which is probably caused by my GPU right now. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I have any other games that I can think of right now that specifically are fairly CPU intense. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave you there with my Windows activation not working, but I'll try to get that sorted out. Worst comes to worst, I guess I have to buy a new Windows key. Anyhow, yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, um, see you later, I guess. <laughs>